I am so excited to see what's inside. Me too. Let's unbox it right now. I lied. Well, this is gonna be an epic in, epic intro right here. YouTube, short. I don't like them. You know, they're tolerable. I have some myself, of course. The pointers in the crowd are gonna be pointing at me and saying, "Oh, well, you do have some yourself." So, how much can you really complain? Mm, yeah, that's true. Jack looked and laughed, but the tiger turned around. <laughs> Why are there captions? Blur this to movie. Why are there captions and then a title, even though there's already a title? Here's the title. And captions here. Movie 3852.9. What are you doing, bud? Now, it's called Mastica because it's supposed to taste like... Why? Why do I have these on? That's a me problem. Why am I critiquing anything when I'm the one who has the captions on over the captions? Listen, I was losing attention span. I had to make things more interesting. I should just have two different tabs open at once. Okay, so this might end up looking like trash. Stop. Looking like trash. Stop. 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 Doing. No! Ah! I'm watching the short though. I suppose I will stop. See you later. Mama Mia! I didn't see you there. I don't normally let plebs into my kitchen, but come here and check this out. In my kitchen, we use HelloFresh, today's video sponsor. They deliver fresh pre proportioned ingredients to make hip seasonal meals straight to your doorstep. But careful, if word gets out about this, I'll have more customers than this spicy ravioli can handle. HelloFresh makes it easy and fun to whip up meals from any kitchen without the hustle and bustle of doing your own chopping and planning. And hey, between you and me, it saves my wallet a few buckaroos as well, you know what I'm saying, paisano? <laughs> but chef, I'm very picky. I need to substitute proteins or my to require calorie smart or smart carb option for my meal. You're in luck, kitchen intruder. HelloFresh offers a variety of options for those exact requirements, and you can even request the quick and easy recipes. It can be ready in 30 minutes or less without a loss in quality and taste. Coincidentally, HelloFresh is also quite fresh. They'll get their ingredients from their source to your door in less than a week, preserving taste and nutrients. Don't forget you can add some food delicious snacks, desserts, sides, and more from the HelloFresh market. No problem only. Now that's mmm yummy tasty. So if you want to be a posturific food dude like myself, go check out today's sponsor, HelloFresh, using my code or my special saucerific link, both found in the description of this video. All right, now I gotta go. My house is on fire. Anime is not real art. Uh, the voices. I'm gonna try to keep this based on more the formatting and the style of shorts than I am the actual creators itself. Me and Julia, we're, we're close, we're fine. This music. And I hear it. I hear it every time. This one's the cutesy one. This one's Despacito. This is the largest cube the in the world. I you just, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of. Th I've always, I've always had. And here's the thing. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, and I'm also very critical of other content to a fault. And you'll hear me complaining for like two hours about a content creator and the type of methods they do in editing, or the type of recording methods, or something, or their titles, or their thumbnails, or whatever. And it might be someone I like quite a bit. So when it comes to YouTube, that's where, that's where 90% of my opinions are. So that's also where I'm like a hypocrite and everything. Captions have always been something that kind of drive me insane though, because there's a very large subsection of YouTube before shorts was ever a thing that just caption the whole video. You can hear it perfectly fine. There's no reason to actually caption it. Just caption the whole thing. Despite the fact, again, that YouTube has auto captioning. It's a, it's an attention span method, right? I like to use it for when someone can't hear something I say, because if it's there all the time, it's just it's too many lights and colors. They distract me. I can't focus on the actual content of the video. So I, I don't like doing it for personal reasons. Captions. Again, I do it in my shorts. I'm here to complain more than to be consistent. I'm spanking myself. So nobody in particular feels spanked, right? And even my editing style, it's like, yeah, I don't just give you raw content. I edit it, I chop it, I try to make it grab your attention, but there's like a, there's a level to it. Eat a fish in front of a fish. What is wrong with you? Like, and this guy, he's like, not even looking at anything. There's not actual text above his head in real life. He's looking at nothing. Gosh, stupid shorts. <laughs> and what is that? What, is, what am I watching? Oh, here's this person breaking the egg. All of a sudden, here's a completely different piece of content. Like, I swiped without swiping. So I might as well keep swiping. I like trick shots. Again, I'm not like condoning these people. I'm talking about the content itself. These could be really bad guys. I don't know. I have no dirt on them. Oh, oh there's gonna be a knife under one of those. I know it. And like movie clips or TV clips. They discovered a big secret about her husband. And it's like, Bro, it's a movie. Most shorts are like, oh, I recorded this dog doing a backflip. That's crazy. Can you believe it? But a lot of shorts, like, they have a caption, like, you won't believe what happened. 
this is crazy. And then they show like footage of some doctors doing surgery and it's like clearly for a movie. And it's like, you will not believe what they found in this patient's stomach. It's like, it's a movie. It's a TV show. Oh, whoa, the 55 carat diamond. Let me just take that. Wow, that's that's insane. Oh, that guy just stole it from me. That is insane. Let me make a little short about it. It's fabricated. It's fiction. Don't put the, the three explanation points as if you're surprised that something happened in a TV show. Excuse me, miss. Can I ask you a quick question? What's your favorite childhood meal? In Chinese, it's called xiong shi dan. That's insane. I, too, peruse the streets of Fling Flang McGee holding out a microphone like this with the phone right in front of my face and just walk up to random people. I totally don't hit them up ahead of time and be like, yo, buddy, I'll give you like 20 bucks. Who am I kidding? It's probably just his sister or something. All right, just walk down the road. Pretend like I'm coming up to you, all right? It'll, it'll make great content. And that's just how, the, like, it's an easy thing to do to grab a little more attention, make it seem like this improv. He just approached this random person and asked him, like, it makes the content more interesting. Don't get me wrong. Again, I'm not ratting on the person for doing what works. I love buying weird toys at Walmart. Today Please end this with, and that's why. Please. Please, I've been looking for one of these. I need, I need to rant. Itching, I'm drooling to rant about this if you do the loop thing at the end. Subscribe if my new chihuahua is slay. Oh, didn't do it. I, okay, here's what I was expecting, because I've been looking through shorts for quite a while, and I don't want to just scroll for three hours. I literally won't survive another ten minutes without talking about this to the internet. I gotta spit fire about the video format that people watch while they're on the toilet. I was expecting it to do that thing. They start off saying, like, I really need to clean this air conditioning remote controller. And then here's a video of me doing it, and it's real up close, and here's all the ASMR, and that's all fine. And then it gets to the end, and they're like, and that's why... And then it loops and it says, I really need to clean this air conditioning remote controller. And it makes it seem like it didn't loop, but rather that it is continuing the same sentence, right? So it's like, it kind of tricks your brain into thinking, oh, it didn't loop. I'm still watching the same video. It's just like the next part, maybe. And what it is, is it's trickery. It's deceit. And I can go extra hard on this one because yeah. the example I'm using is myself with an air conditioning remote, not a particular creator. From a view standpoint, I get it. If, if you particularly want views, but it's like, what do you get out of another view? It's YouTube shorts, right? If you're, if you're just trying to get the extra view and you're doing this stuff for fun, that's great. If you're an actual like company or channel and you're trying to like, like that's your job and shorts are kind of a means to an end to get new eyes onto your content or your shop or whatever it is you happen to be promoting through shorts, you know, more power to you. But like the looping view just doesn't do much. I know that there will be all these nitpicky scientists to kill you. If you see the same Burger King ad 15 times, there's actually a portion, the subperipheral cortex of your brain will inflate, causing you to subconsciously decide to go to Burger King three years later. It's like, yeah, okay, there might be like a tiny science to it. For the most part, no, you're just making someone watch your video again. I don't know. I don't get that one. Oh, Tamagotchi, yes. I like. Let's remove poop. Me, all the time. Also with the syringe, me all the time. Why well, this is the only one I like? It's it's no one's seen it yet. All the popular ones. I just don't like popular things. I'm starting to realize I'm like an, I'm turning into such a diehard hipster. Eh, Fortnite. We're killing the earth, and that's really fun. I mean, I don't want to ever say anything about that, but yeah, it is kind of fun. It's really not that bad. Like that's that's not her real voice. I hate to break it to you guys. That's not actually what she's saying. Again, nothing against her. This is the format. It's, since I never leave my house and all I do is browse shorts and TikTok, I see things like this and I think people have real voices like that. And I go outside and everyone's like, like it's creating a false expectation of reality and it's it's ruining our youth. And I hopped into. A I've seen that one five times. Again, my problem isn't with people. It's just with the format and the trends and the weird tactics that I engage in. This is a human sight. It's a robot. And ro See, the people are here to be real. Everything's just, it's about fake. It's about fake. This is my friend JT. That's probably not even his friend JT. You know he's not really recording. All right, I'm, I'm going to call you out on this one. There's no way he's actually. <laughs> he probably is. The vlogging, like, that's what I would do if I were pretending to vlog. I like this. This one's good. This Dean woke up and went right back into her room. That's crazy. This is my girlfriend, Zoe. And Thanks for telling me. You could literally just say didn't ask for all of these, which is nothing against the people making them. But like a lot of my short feed, this is just, an, this is a, a private tab so that I'm just getting like the general feed that everyone else gets. But mine tends to be very uh, informational. Like, did you know in 2004, Super Mario's butt was actually four centimeters more diameter. You can tell because I spent two weeks studying and squeezing it. Okay. But then I slowly started to think every time I swiped one, what if I just said didn't ask after every, every single one? Because technically I didn't. I did open the app and I did start swiping, 
and I do watch some of the informational ones, so I'm kind of telling the algorithm that's what I want. But I did realistically not ask. I had a customer that came in that couldn't afford his meal. He got two sandwiches, both of I threw him out on the street and I said, go get a job. That was pretty mean. Wow, mean guy. I can't believe he'd say that. My favorite thing is just watching like two, two to five seconds of a short and then just scrolling and saying, wow. So live action Ariel's mermaid form was almost all CGI. <laughs> like, wow, <laughs> didn't ask. <laughs> nice opinion, buddy. Why are you in my house? Get out of here. She was trying to escape her kidnapper and this happened. Why is this guy crying? It's, <laughs> ah. it's a movie. It's a movie. Or a TV show, or a video, whatever it is, it's produced. This is how much money I spent on food in Universal Hollywood. Two and a half dollars. Subscribe for more. This is the best girl voice actor on the internet. Hi everyone, my name is Matt. I, I don't know, guy. Have you ever heard of of girls? They do that too. They talk sometimes. I think I, I think I got past all the the specific like format YouTube short format critiques that I wanted to so I don't want to keep going on about this I'm trying to make this more about the format itself some of the trends that pop up as a result and how it affects my dog personally you know he's been struggling a lot with his 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 uh, ADHD and trying to focus on things and you know every five seconds he's pulling out his phone he's browsing through the shorts and and he can't focus on his schoolwork good job with the angle Peter you know this isn't just the incoherent constant ramblings of somebody who nitpicks content beyond belief to an unhealthy extent no this is this is a struggling single father just trying to man if you could just multiply a few numbers once in a while and he's licking his crotch and i blame shorts honestly think of the kids guys next time you go to make a short think of the kids now if you'll excuse me i'm off to make a short i mean i might i might not i don't know I thought that would be just kind of quippy. I almost forgot to play the SpongeBob.